Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 2 Part 46. In this segment, I'm going to use my APR Celica with the really cool blueprint uh, livery thing. That's really fucking cool. I like a lot. Anyways, we're going to do our next professional series series. It is the Class C World Trophy. It's, it's just an open C class thing, so. Here's where our opponent's going to be driving. We have Davis and a Chrysler Crossfire and Rossi and a Mercedes CLK 55. Those are the only two that matter. And stuff. Anyways, we got five races here. So, Sakuba, Jello Short, Silverstone, and Full Circuit. That's interesting. Suzuka West and New York Reverse. So, standard fodder. Let's go to Sakuba. Alright, here we go. I'm starting fourth behind Takahashi, Rossi, and Davis. And let's see how this thing does compared to everyone else. It would help if I could actually hear the game. Hey, Denny. A lot of wheel spin. This car is more, uh. According to its, like, stats, it's more of a, uh, handling car than. You know, car made for speed. I'm not using my wheel. I'm just using a standard 360 controller for this. Because I don't have, like, an adapter or anything that allows my wheel to work on the Xbox 360. Because, uh, natively, Logitech G27 is not compatible with the console. So, I would have to get an adapter, which there are adapters. That pretty much makes the G27 like compatible with any fucking console. Which is really cool. And I'll probably have to invest in one someday. Oh, hey, Ludo. Meanwhile, Rossi isn't really the major threat in this, it seems. We have Davis and his uh, Chrysler Crossfire. Leading the way. But it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I'm sure I have a speed disadvantage, because like I said, this is more of a, a handling car than a speed car. It only has 4.0 acceleration and top speed, so yeah. Q's G27 GT2. I mean, you halfway can if you play it on the PS3. No, I can't do it on the original PlayStation. It, PlayStation, the original PlayStation doesn't have fucking USB ports, you fuck. Fuck you, Q. Okay, we are diving underneath Davis, don't mind me. But yeah, if you try to use it in, like, on the PS3, it halfway works, as in the wheel itself works. You can steer, but the pedals don't. <laughs> So you pretty much have to be uh, accelerating and braking with the controller and then steering with the wheel. Well, it does work with, P with PS2Q. Because I used it in my Corvette LP. Remember? Remember. Like, the PS2 recognizes it as just, you know, whatever Logitech wheel was, uh, available at that time. And stuff. Oh, okay, well, I was not... I should have expected Davis to, uh, go down the inside, because that's, like, their normal line into the hairpin, but... Fuck me. Oh, you mean for GT1 and GT2? Probably not, I don't know, I haven't tried. I haven't tried a PS1 game on a PS2. Hello! That Chrysler has a lot of fucking straight line speed compared to me. Hello, Red. Oh, we're going wide. Okie dokie. Well, I have the lead for now. Something tells me um, this is probably not going to be a clean sweep. Oh, well. Oh god, okay. Davis is get feeling really racy. Alright. Maybe about the games. I don't know, Ludo. I'd say any game that supports like a Logitech wheel will work. My G27 will work for it. 
Because Corvette, of all the games, my G27 works. You know, fucking shitty low-budget game. Let's be honest here. Yes, the SRT Crossfire is big fast. What am I driving? I'm driving a uh, APR Toyota Celica. It's a really cool uh, blueprint livery. Oh, that's a Chrysler Crossfire SRT. It's like an SRT 8 or something. SRT 6. So, it's technically an SRT Crossfire. Meanwhile, whoever's in last place is, uh, quite in last place, and before it's Kim. Caught in the crossfire. Someone made the pun before me! Ah! Anyways. Why is a 2? Because I want to. And, you know, I'm basically doing a, uh, completion-ist marathon of the 360 and Motorsport games. I'm a retard and have to do things in order. Yeah, a rice tune Celica. There's a lot of rice cars in this game. A lot of them. They're cool, though. I like them. I like most of them for, you know, the most part. this rice functions. Yeah, this is a different kind of rice, because this one has a... Uh, prefers handling over... stupidity. I mean, these are, like, actual, you know, tuning companies, so... they're not stupid fucking ricers. They're tuners. Don't got a problem with that. Cool. Cause uh, yeah, I don't have a response. I'm bleh. Oh God, Chris! I can't say I've really had that specific problem. Like. I've had problems going in to where, like, oh, I don't have enough space in my memory card to save this game. Well, something has to be sacrificed. I've never really come across the point where I'm like, oh, I, uh, I, I can't save because I'm out of room. Well, shit. Then they get them weird and stuff. And meanwhile, I'm pulling the f Oh god. Oh, hey, test drive. Are you still dead? It was meanwhile, I'm pulling the hell away from Davison's, uh, Rossi. Yeah, fucking hello, no GT4. Hello, no. Hello, moto. No longer dead. Hooray! Does that mean you're uh, gonna make up for yesterday's lack of Forza 6 Apex videos, Kappa? <laughs> Anyways. Oh no, okay. got in the derby. I couldn't care less about the derby. I don't give a shit about horse racing. At all. I feel no videos whatsoever today. Yeah, man. I'm like, alright. Let's fucking save up 20 minutes to watch a new tester vid- Oh, there's nothing. You know what you should do? You should release a part 22 of Carbon today and then part 21 tomorrow. Also, I win. Hooray! We may actually have a clean sweep, I don't know. Depends on... how fast of tracks we're gonna go to. But I ended up winning by five and a half seconds here, so... Hmm. 
This probably won't be too bad. Hey, Harry. And it's a very uh, big blowout for the podium, boys. Takahashi way the fuck behind. Almost half a minute behind me. And then we got Sato and Watanabe in his S2K, which is even further behind. He's way behind Sato. This is the uh, C-Class Championship, Harry. Oh yeah, that's right. There is New York in the track lineup, so that might be a slight issue. Depending on how dumb the AI is in the turns, like braking for the turns, as opposed to what my car is capable of. 59 seconds behind me was Watanabe. Very good. Pretty sure Watanabe is going to get shut out in this series. So there we go, race one done. A little bit of body damage repairs. Gain two levels, nice. And hey, I have five level one Toyotas. Actually, I have five level two Toyotas now. Damn, sweet. All right, let's go race two. All right, here we go. Time for race two at Mugello Short. For eight laps? Seven laps, okay. I like that Camaro that uh, Evans is driving. No, not Evans. Who's driving that Camaro? Takaha, no. Who the fuck is driving the Camaro? Williams, okay. Thank you. Anyways. Gonna play some TXR3? Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. So I did not get a very good launch. As far as track position, how you doing, Takahashi? But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make it up and then some in the turns. Ah, thought Rossi was gonna break there into the right hander. That's why I sandbagged a little bit. So I could get the awesome, crazy run off the turn. Holy shit, Rossi. Going after Davis. The fucking shit, Q. So this is where I'm at a big disadvantage. But been that way before. Nothing I can't overcome. Sandbagging is cheating. This isn't pinks all out. It's fine. Remember that show? That show was cool. Oh, fuck. The only problem with this track is, like, since you're constantly going left and right, left then right, or right then left, there's almost, like, no place to fucking overtake. I have no idea what that exchange was, but it somehow gave me the lead. I... I don't even know. I like Pastime. Pastime was cool as well. That was the game show, right? Pretty sure it was. Oh, Excuse me, Davis. Excuse me, Ross, eh? Well, if you can't beat him, beat him out of your way. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, pastime was cool. Uh, if only speed still existed. Then again, it wouldn't exist in the form that we would want it to exist, aka, like, you know, back in the days of Speed Vision, where it showed racing, racing, and racing, and also racing, and then some more racing. Nowadays, speed would be NASCAR, NASCAR, reality show that may be in involve cars in some way, NASCAR, NASCAR, other racing, NASCAR, NASCAR. And yeah. 
Yeah, Rossi in a fast boat. Still can't get around Davis, though. Yeah, I saw that thing test drive. I'm like, oh, Forza 6 NASCAR pack. Well, then. We're turning left. I wonder if it's going to have the F-14 in it. <laughs> Anyways. I like how it just pulled the fuck away from Davis and Rossi, somehow. Just some the fuck how. Wait, what do you want about Friday? Are you talking about, like, what I meant by the whole Speed Channel thing? No, they would show Formula One. They would maybe show Le Mans. They probably wouldn't give a single shit about V8 supercars. Sadly. They used to. Remember that one year, a few years ago, where they actually aired the Bathurst 1000 live in its entirety on speed? They even had fucking Mike Joy and DW there. That shit was awesome. I mean, I preferred the Australian commentary, but the fact that they actually had that, you know... Fox actually cared enough to actually broadcast the biggest race in Australia to America land live. It was pretty fucking cool. Do NASCAR fans even like Le Mans? I do. I'm a fan of both. I prefer Le Mans. Over left turn, but yeah. Lee means. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, DW and Mike Joy def probably definitely enjoy their time, except in the, uh, you know, when DW had that ride along with, who the fuck what he, did he ride along with? Was it Lounsey or Murphy, or someone else? I can't remember. Where you know DW pretty much shit himself twice over. How insane the fucking Mount Panorama is. Insanely awesome. We. Okay, meanwhile. It's kind of dominating this race. Just a bit. Force of 7 better have time transition. Eh. It's not, a, it's not a deal breaker for me. Hell, I'm just happy they brought back night racing in Forza 6. Cause like I said, although it's not a deal breaker, it's still really nice to see after it being absent from the motorsport series since Forza 1. Because, you know. Oh, shit. Zay's a little brim. No idea what that third item is, Q. Deck for T. What? Oh, dead cat. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Anyways. So yeah, just randomize him to Isaac talk, because Q. Also, I won by four and a half seconds. Hooray. Hooray! Anyways. And Rossi was not able to get around Davis. Sucks for him. See Williams beat Takahashi for fourth. Then Sato and Watanabe bringing up the rear. Oh, oh, you also have Mask of Infamy. That's a good one. When it decides to work. 
Freaking Watsonabe. So far behind. So far behind. Hey, we got a tie for fourth in the points now. And that's literally like the only difference in a finishing position. As far as the points are concerned. Hooray. Okay, well. Let's race two down. We've reached level 34. Heck yeah, man. We've unlocked probably a Porsche to buy. And stuff, so uh, let's go to race three. Okie dokie, it's time for Silverstone, the full Grand Prix course. Kind of the odd man out in this series of uh, shorter tracks. And then, you know, full short tracks like Sakuba in New York, but yeah. But anyways... Damn, Takahashi really got dicked on that start because uh, how wide he went in turn one. He got shuffled way the fuck back. I think he fell all the way back to sixth. Around the outside of Rossi. It's not going to matter because he's going to fucking leave me down the straightaway. And his Merc. Shit. Meanwhile, fifth gear is a little too low for my liking. Am I gonna do anything about it? Fuck no. You just now realize Davis has the Chrysler thing, is he? I really like the Crossfire. It's an interesting car. Hey, Cameron. Ooh, you got a Plymouth Prowler? Sweet. I like that car. Fucking Moto Erotica. Ugh, he had a little torrent. Convertible crosshard, not the coupe. Yeah, I like the coupe. Oh, hey, Cesar. You've missed the creation of the multiverse. I don't know. The Mustang King Cobra, Jesus Christ. I mentioned you have, like, the, uh, the best worst Mustang ever. You have, like, the best job ever, test drive. Because of all these interesting cars. That you get to look at and even sit inside and move, maybe ever so slightly, but still move it. Hello, Davis. Just giving you a little, uh, love taps and let you know I'm there. Horsepower Cowboy Corvette. That's not that interesting. Is it the sledgehammer? Is the Celica supercharged? I don't fucking know if it's supercharged. Test drive it. Come on, test drive. When's the real life test drive is gonna happen? Just, just make a uh, makeshift circuit around Moto Erotica. Do it. Okay, how you doing, Davis? Shuts creates vibration throughout the entire goddamn house. Oh, excuse me, Davis. You're in my fucking way, mate. Okay, got two 
two more laps, get him. I'm sure I'll be right on his ass by the time we finish these S's. Because this car has the grip, yo. Honestly, should have taken a tighter earlier apex so I could have swung out wide. Oh fuck, I hit a bit of sticky grass. Son of a bitch. The sticky grass strikes! It's not even rubber banding, it's just the AI sucks around the asses. Is our C5s? Remember the sledgehammer? That's a C4. It's also got a badass name because sledgehammer. Not out of the woods yet, Davis. I'm coming for you. Shit. Okay. I'm back. Yes, I'm having a doodly do up the inside. Don't mind me. Wait, is twin tur is twin turbocharged? Only 380 horsepower. What? <laughs> Beg pardon. Oh, do you mean the uh, Callaway C12, I think? For Alligator? Is that the one you're talking about? It doesn't look like a Corvette necessarily? I don't fucking know. I don't know my Callaways. This is the 80s. Bruh, I don't care. When I hear twin turbo, I expect at least 500 horsepower. C12. Okay, well then I'll go fuck myself. Yeah, clearly the Cowboy C7 GT1. I think that car's in a sports car GT. Could be wrong. The only thing I care about about the recent uh, spring cleaning out of Wii is uh, Damien Sandow. Maybe he can actually like be used properly. In the indies. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Damien Sandow is good. He probably would do really well in Chikara. Cause yeah, also, hey, I win. Getting past, rough my way around Davis. Fucking bully myself around him. Get the win. Got the fastest lap. Nice. Yeah. I can't really think of, like, a Callaway that's, like... That just doesn't look like a Corvette. Like, the thing I... Th thinking of that looks the least like a Corvette still looks like a Corvette vaguely. So, I don't fucking know. 
God, marathoning my GT4 LP. All 200 hours of it. Uh. Alright. Well, there we go. I now has a 9 point lead over Davis. Hooray. And stuff. And well, Takahashi's fallen 2 points behind Williams because of his terrible stars that he wasn't able to recover from. G G bro. Yeah, looks like we're gonna max out the level of this car, maybe, probably. Most likely. Hey, we're at Suzuka West now. So uh let's continue this uh C class dominance. Uh, at Suzuka. If only I could like do reverb there, I would have done like the New Jersey reverb thing. Cause you know, still on that uh classic game room binge. Yep. That's still a thing. Oh f fuck. Alright, couple things happened there. A I locked up the brakes. B, this car actually like Luckily has good enough brakes to where I didn't royally fuck myself. So that's good. And stuff. Same as Ames. Same is also really good, yeah. Scabra. I'm trying to think of like what my fa favorite wrestler thing would be right now. I'm not sure. Why all this Callaway talk? Because Tester got one at Moto Erotica the other day. And just kind of sparked from there. Fucking own Q. The thing would I come out to the ring to? Fucking. Oh, jeez. I don't even know. Oh, you're almost done with Suzuki Thousand K. Sweet. Um. I don't know. It had the only thing I can think of is like it'd have to be either silly, like silly and brutal, or just straight up brutal. Kind of like Seth Rollins' theme, but more brutal. Like I don't know, something with sugar related. I can come out to bleed by Mashuga. That'd be perfect. Must get around Rossi and Davis. Oh god. Hello Rossi, how you doing? Just give me a love tap, don't mind me. Ah, oh, couldn't clear him. Yoink, okay. Be Rhino's theme, yeah, clearly. Ha ha, nice meme. Gore, gore, etc. I 
would be President Ryan. Oh my god, yes. That would be my, like, authority figure me uh, theme. Clearly. <laughs> Just thinking about it, it's like... Fucking, you're like watching a promo and shit, and all of a sudden you hear, All hail, President Rhino! All hail, Rhinoceros Commander-in-Chief. Hello, Rossi, how you doing? You can get the fuck back behind me. Stop the car. Stop the presses. Good run out of this turn, even though I cut it a little bit. Kind of don't want to be on the outside for the hairpin. Yeah, that didn't exactly work. Yeah, very professional. Hey, it worked for Chikara. Since, you know, Chikara is mostly comedy wrestling anyways. It seems. I'm not sure about that, though. Or, you know, if I was in that, uh... I forget that wrestling promotion that like ICP is involved with but that one I just come out to NSFW just fuckity fuckity fuck fuck my tag team partner would be a uh, fat fuck trash garbage man or whatever fucking fat fucking or no, it's like a fat fucking fat man in a garbage can. So, um, hooray, I'm gonna win. Oh, Brock has me until the match starts. Dude, I, like I said, it'd be the ICP. It'd be the promotion that ICP is involved with, where they say fuck almost every second. I'm pretty sure they have a quota. Like, fucks per minute. God, CZW. I'm just gonna use this fucking chainsaw in your face, K thanks. Anyways, I won the race. I got the fastest lap. Yay! I still have no idea how I actually managed to uh, stay ahead of Davis on that. Run up to the spoon, I guess, because he was on the outside. Therefore, he's like, oh shit, I gotta go slow now because I'm not on the racing line. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Alex. Come on, Watanabe. Oh, we made it. Okay. 8 minutes 24 to my 7.38. GG. GG, bro. Hey, Takahashi gained a point on Williams. Hooray. <laughs> will he tie? Or will they tie? Or will Williams get the... Uh, shut up, me. Anyways, I won the championship because I have a 12-point lead over uh, Davis. And, yeah. And, yeah. So, to the final race. Okay, time for will probably be the most difficult race to win. New York. Not for sure, though. We'll see how this goes. 
we'll see how their uh, ability or not of cornering stuff. Oh, hey, Corn. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're doing New York reverse. Uh. Oh, okay. I already fucked myself. Honestly, I have no idea how I did that. I'm restarting the race. I don't want to do this whole championship over again. Fuck that. Okay, anyways. Let's try this again. Final race. Time for New York. This time let's not somehow ram the fucking first turn wall and fuck my engine. That was a weird angle. It didn't look like an angle that would do any damage to my engine, but it did. I don't know. I ain't know. Anyways, yeah, I went for the restart because I just really do not want to play through this entire fucking championship again just to win this race. Because, uh... It's kind of why I'm glad the these, uh, like, actual points championships are only, you know, limited to this, uh, section of the career. Hello, Rossi, excuse me. Ha 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 ha. Game ripped off fucking GT with the Forza, or with the Forza, with the New York. Ha ha. Hello, Rossi, holy shit. I think it was just some weird fucking coincidence, maybe. As far as the New Yorks and Forza and GT4. It's like, they were really. I don't. I guess Forza 1 was released, like. Nearly a year after GT4, but still. I, I don't know. It's like, wow, they both use a Times Square section. Whoa, they're so fucking ripping off. Dank memes for all. You know, it doesn't look like I'm winning this race anyway, so, um... Fuck. Fucky fuck fuck. Which game is better graphics, GT4 or Forza 4? Excuse me. Let's compare a late 360 game to a late PS2 game, because that's smart. That sounds smart, guys. It's pretty fucking smart, right? So smart, man. Like, fuck. So incredibly smart. No! That is the stupidest fucking question. Do not compare graphics to games that are part of a different console generation. Ever. And stuff. Fucking savage as fuck you. What the fuck did car list have to do with graphics? I think someone forgot their brain. Just saying. I'm an asshole. 
Da 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 da. Anyways. Meanwhile, I don't think I'm even passing Rossi here. Just gonna chill on the podium. The back of the podium. The color's my Xbox. The color of death. I don't know. I have a Nig Box 360. Ah, uh, the whole the classic GT carless joke. Take out the Neo, the uh, Miatas and the Skylines. You got like twenty cars. <laughs> Granted, fucking Mark from CGR actually made that a uh, joke in his review of GT6. I'm like, God damn it, Mark. Hey, Lockup, how you doing? How you doing? Boy, CGR game. Hey, there's nothing wrong with CGR. It's fucking cool. I got like, you know, eight years of CGR to catch up on. Plus the re-ups of the original series that ran from 1999 to 2000. Got a lot of reviews to watch, bro. Also, I have no idea how Mark finds all the time to do everything that he does, aka CGR, his two, uh, like, comics. Fucking, like, I think he does a podcast and fucking... right now, plus right now he's moving uh like the intergalactic space arcade we're moving out of the intergalactic space arcade I guess his banishment from earth has been revoked do you watch like every review? not yet Just like his mission is to review everything, my mission is to watch every review of his. Clearly, except no. I mostly am just watching like his reviews of racing games. Because I'm a fag. Q, I saw that the first time, you're not funny. Go fuck yourself, kid. I hope you never beat the heart again. Well, Alex, I think your I think the solution to your problem if uh the stream is laggy is to put a new graphics card in your monitor. Because memes and also really retarded comments that I get on an almost daily basis. Oh, hey, the tester is back. Just in times, watch me not sweep the championship. Ray. Okay, well. Third place is my place. At least I finished on the podium. So that's good. <laughs> Gun Groodles. Man, I was so close to getting the fastest lap, too, but nope. Two tenths off. Damn you, Rossi! So yeah, this car, not quite fast enough for this track to, uh, compete with Davis and Rossi. Oh well. Oh well. And then we wait on Watanabe. Hey, made it. 
Almost a full minute behind Davis. GG. And he gets shut out of the points. Ha 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 ha. And I win by 7 points over Davis. Hooray. I got 45 points in the, in the D-Class Championship as well. Patterns, bro. And Takahashi and Williams tied. With Takahashi taking the tiebreaker, it looks like. Nice. Nice. And hey, we've maxed out our second car. I think it's the second car we've maxed out. I don't know. Anyways, we did that. And rip tester. Alright. Well, at least we won the championship, got our trophy. Got our 40,000 credits, and got our epic new race car. I fucking love this DTM TT. So cool. I don't know why, but I just really like, like how the wing is mounted and the weird placement of it. I like it because it's weird. I'm actually, I actually used to think that the wing was actually mounted to just the diffuser. It's actually mounted to the body. I thought it was actually mounted to the diffuser. Okay. Oh, I just learned something today. <laughs> Anyways, we got the gold trophy in that, but we're going to have to go and uh, change this bronze into a gold. So, transition. Alright, and there we go. New York is done, so this segment is over. Everything's gold and all that shit. And uh, so with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 2.